Join me as we delve into a story that touches our hearts and stirs our spirits. This is the tale of Robert Long, a man whose life was a canvas painted with intriguing details and hidden passions. Robert's story begins with intrigue and positivity as he documented his life's journey through captivating videos and engaging posts. But on April 11th, Will County Courthouse. Morning walk. Really don't like courthouses though. I'm on my way to get breakfast. Catch me back at church or a courthouse sometime. Work, work, backpack, check. Home is on deck, y'all know that. Let's go, man. Got them project hallways again too. Backpack on check. Yup, all that. Near North Bluff Street and the Des Plaines River in Joliet, Illinois, Robert disappeared without a trace, leaving behind a void that his family and friends are determined to fill. Join us as we delve into the details of this baffling case. Yeah, guys, he was last seen by his mom last Thursday morning, six days ago, last seen by his neighbors last Thursday night. He lives in this tan apartment building uh, down here by the river in downtown Joliet. And since then, first responders have been scouring this area. Take a look. This is 37-year-old Robert Long. His mom tells me that he works at Kellogg's in Manuka and also works with a friend doing Uber Eats on the side. He's not married, but is a father to seven children and when he left home last week, he left his backpack and his cell phone, but may have his wallet with him. He lives in this complex with his mom on North Bluff Street at the river in downtown Joliet. Since the family filed a missing persons report with police on Saturday, Joliet detectives and the fire department have searched the area, including the Displains River, but have found nothing. His mom says Robert has never done anything like this before. This is not my child. He don't do anything like this. My fear is that I ain't going to see my child again. That's my fear. That's my fear. I'm mentally drained, man. I, right now, I'm mentally drained. I wouldn't wish this on no mother. Please just help bring my baby home. The family is now organizing a search for Robert Long on Friday morning at 10 a.m. starting at 316 North Bluff Street. That's by breaking down the moments leading up to Robert's disappearance and exploring the possibilities that lie ahead. As we navigate through clues and speculation, one thing remains clear. Robert Long's good nature and zest for life have left an indelible mark on those who knew him. As the search for Robert Long intensified, a missing person alert captured the attention of our community. Let's take a moment to watch the news segment that brought this urgent plea for information to the forefront. Robert was known for his unique job attire, a poker vest that hinted at his creative spirit. Beyond his professional life, he enjoyed documenting his journey through short-form videos on social media, sharing glimpses of his world with thousands of viewers. But amidst the intrigue, Robert's story took a tragic turn. He went missing on April 11th near North Bluff Street and the Des Plaines River in Joliet, Illinois. His absence left a void in the community, a void that his family and local authorities worked tirelessly to fill. As the search unfolded, whispers of a possible motive emerged. Some speculated that Robert was involved in selling recreational party items, a connection that may shed light on his disappearance. As we consider the details surrounding Robert Long's disappearance, questions arise and theories begin to form. Could his job or other aspects of his life have played a role in what transpired? Speculations abound, hinting at potential motives and leads that may unravel this mystery. Tomorrow marks a crucial turning point in this investigation, the post-mortem examination to determine the cause of Robert Long's suspicious passing. This examination holds the key to transforming this case from a missing person inquiry to a real homicide investigation. Once the results are revealed, the trajectory of this investigation will likely shift, leading us closer to the truth and justice. It's a pivotal moment where every detail matters in the pursuit of closure for Robert and his loved ones. As we know, every second counts, so to think that a killer is out there walking the streets right now is unsettling to say the least. So here's hoping investigators get those answers out quickly so this person and people can be apprehended ASAP. Okay guys, 
So today the police took the podium in Joliet to break the sad news that Robert had been found and he had passed away by extremely suspicious circumstances. Um, before we begin, I want to stress the fact that um, despite the update that we have, this is a very active investigation, which in turn, as you know, uh, will limit some of our responses. So um, I will provide a brief statement and then uh, I will take a few questions, but um, in formulating your questions, please keep in mind that this still is a very active investigation. Last Saturday, uh, April 13th, uh, the family of Robert Long, a 35-year-old male from Joliet, was reported missing to the, jo to the Joliet Police Department. The family reported him missing at, our, at the Joliet Police Department front desk. At the time, it was shared that Mr. Long was last seen wearing a red jacket, blue jeans, and, glass, and sunglasses, and he was last seen on April 11th, I, 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 yes, April 11th, in the 300 block of North Bluff Street, where uh, he resides. Uh, upon learning the uh, information about this missing person, a missing person's investigation was immediately uh, launched by uh, our investigations unit, and uh, Detective Stephen Bowe was assigned to the case. Uh, also, information about Mr. Long was disseminated immediately through uh, to the media and also by using social media outlets. During this time, Detective Bowe stayed in very close contact with the family of Mr. Long, uh, sometimes uh, more than once a day. Uh, to learn further information, uh, everything that he could about Mr. Long, uh, about where he could be. I can tell you that detectives conducted interviews uh, with family and friends of Mr. Long to learn any sort of inf information. Um, and I also can tell you that uh, not only were our detectives worked very hard in this case, uh, but this is a very close-knit family that we've learned and they have been very instrumental in searching for their loved one as well, as we all would for our own loved ones. On April 17th, during the morning of April 17th, detectives conducted a extensive canvas of the Riverwalk Homes area, uh, both the interior and exterior uh, portions of that area. Part of that canvas included checking all of the vacant apartments in all of those buildings. From that canvas, uh, it was learned that uh, little to, to no information was, was gleaned from these searches. During, the, during this past week, the Joliet Fire Department has also been conducting searches on the Des Plaines River uh, using their boat, and they have had a boat in the river every day since this past Monday. This morning at approximately 10 a.m., uh, members of our uh, investigations uh, division, uh, members of our uh, investigations uh, division, and also members of the Joliet Fire Department, joined the family in the 300 block of North Bluff Street uh, for a search of the area. Many of you were already there, and thank you for for covering that for us. Also, members of the Joliet Fire Department uh, continue their search on the river, utilizing a boat and also utilizing a drone. Shortly after, when the, shortly after the search began at approximately 10.47 a.m., it was learned that the, the Joliet Fire Department boat had located a male body in the Des Plaines River uh, south of the McDonough Street Bridge on the east side of the river. At that time, the body was brought ashore to the 700 block of Railroad Street. The Will County uh, Coroner's Office did re respond to that scene and at that time pronounced uh, Robert Long, age 35, uh, deceased um, after positively identifying uh, the body as being Robert Long. I can speak on behalf of Chief Evans and his whole administration and our whole department. I wish to extend our deepest condolences to the family and friends of Mr. Robert Long. It, it is very difficult to even fathom the amount of loss that they continue to deal with and this, 
this pain has been reopened and I, I hope that all of us in this room can keep that family and the memory of Mr. Long in our thoughts. The manner of death will be provided, will be determined by the Will County Coroner's Office. A post-mortem exam is scheduled for tomorrow morning. Uh, this, like I said, this remains a very active investigation. Um, our detectives uh, continue to, to treat this case as a priority. Uh, I know Detective Bo has worked very hard um, all week long and, and ever since learning of this case and being assigned this case. Uh, if anyone has any video footage or information uh, regarding this incident, uh, I would encourage them to contact Detective Stephen Bo uh, at the, uh, I'm sorry, at the Joliet Police Department Investigations Division, 815-724-3020. Join us on this journey as we await the findings of the medical examination, knowing that each step brings us closer to uncovering the reality behind Robert's tragic fate. Time is of the essence, and we must act swiftly to ensure that those responsible are brought to justice. Let us stand together in solidarity, determined to see this through, and bring closure to a grieving community. Together we can make a difference and bring peace to Robert's memory. Through it all, Robert's life reminds us of the importance of kindness and empathy. In a world filled with uncertainties, let us come together to seek justice and closure for Robert and his loved ones. In the words of Robert Long himself, just humble and willing to experience knowledge, growth, and change, this sentiment encapsulates the essence of a man who sought wisdom and embraced life's transformations. Robert's online presence painted a vivid picture of his adventurous spirit and thirst for discovery. Through his captivating videos and engaging posts, he invited friends and followers into his world, where each moment was an opportunity for growth and enlightenment. As we reflect on Robert's life and the mystery surrounding his disappearance, let us honor his legacy by embodying the same openness to new experiences and personal evolution. May his journey inspire us all to embrace change and embrace the unknown with humility and grace. Let's all take a moment to reflect on Robert's journey, his passions, and the impact he left on those around him. May his story inspire us to cherish each day and hold our loved ones close. Join me in sending thoughts of peace and strength to Robert's family and friends as they navigate this difficult chapter. Together, we can honor his memory and strive to make our world a better place. Thank you for listening, and remember to spread kindness wherever you go. This message was brought to you by Cultivate What Matters. This Mother's Day, celebrate the unsung heroes in our lives. Moms, your days are filled with caring for everyone else, but what about your own dreams? Enter Power Sheets, the ultimate companion for moms prioritizing their goals. Turn your dreams into actionable plans with Power Sheets. It's not just a planner. It's a roadmap to intentional living, purpose, and joy. Give yourself the gift of empowerment this Mother's Day with Power Sheets. Click the link down below for Cultivate What Matters and use code Madison Adeline for 10% off everything on the whole entire website. Plan ahead with Power Sheets because every mom deserves to chase her dreams.